Hey, Sneakless back tonight. Again. Yeah, again. Quite a few tonight, yeah. Well, tonight we got Sabion Linux 16.11, 64-bit. Only comes in 64-bit now. XFCE version, yeah. But as you can see, I'm not, you know, totally in the groove because it's not the sort of wallpaper or background I want to see. But I'm not going to diss it for that. We'll just go for it and do what we got to do. Installed it. Didn't take too long to install. Right. As you know, if you've used this before, because it's Gen 2 based. It's Gen 2 for beginners, basically, at the end of the day. It will do it all the stuff for you. But once you've got it installed, it's super bleeding fast. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It's beginner friendly, is the word they like to use. So I'm quite happy with it. So this is the desktop. Very white. I'm not liking this, guys. No, no, no. Give me give me some other stuff. But on the other hand, I'll go and get me home, couldn't I? And be like that. But no, I'm giving it a vanilla feel to see how it is. Okay. Anyway, you can get it with XFCE, which I've got here. KDE, Mate, and Gnome as well. Not Gnome. Gnome. It's English. Gnome. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Gnome, and Juliet, you know. The usual. Anyway, enough of that. Which we'll a quick look around for you. So when you first boot up, even from the live CD, or if you install it, you get the welcome screen. I've kept it here for you. Lots of distros have this now, including Mint and loads of others. So you know, community repositories, the package lists, first steps, Sabion Wiki, the forum, RRC chat, GitHub, bug recording, and donate. Obviously, if you've got some spare shekels, do donate to them because they work hard. They do put a lot out all the time. They have done for years and years. I do like Sabion, but this one it doesn't run well in a box. Mm, well, it, it does run well in a box, but it takes ages to install stuff. But that's another story. I'll come back to that in a bit, okay? Let me get rid of that. Okay. What do you want to know? Well, it's quite different for XFC, isn't it? Yeah, it is really, really different. So I've got Sneaky down here. But that's just lock screen or log out. I don't know. If you click on here, that just minimises Windows. It's all over the place. Not standard XFC, is it, really? But they do want to make it their own, so why not? Okay. Over here we have waste market is empty. So waste basket. It's a bin of rubbish bin. Keep telling you lot. I've told you for ten years now, and you still don't listen. And over here we have the clip man. So you can put some clip there. We've only got two windows here, but you can make more if you want to. You can have as many workspaces as you like. Okay. XFC. It's lovely. It does what it says. I know. That's the time. It's getting late. I will go to bed soon. I know so. We're a wide connection here, and I've updated all the distribution since I've installed it. Okay, so that's fully up to date. Okay, let's go down. Applications. This <laughs> this reminds me of XFC from back in the day, having it on the top. Okay, so you get the usual here in your menu. Blah, 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 blah. I won't go too much into it. But you get terminal. I oh, like terminal. File manager. I like manager. You've got mail reader and web browser. What is your web browser of choice here? Ooh. Ooh, oh, oh, what happened there? Oh, I don't know. Let's go back and find out. So, okay. Go to internet. Well, Chrome is apparently my web browser of choice. Okay. So why in hell does that not happen there? Uh, I thought, yeah. Well, I could just put Chrome there and do it, but it should have been done for me already, shouldn't it, really, when you think about it? Sorry, guys. But, hey, I'm only looking at it and telling what you've done wrong, okay? Or maybe you're wrong, or maybe you don't like it. Okay. Anyway. We'll go to, we'll, I'll tell you what, we'll go to internet anyway. And we'll open up Chrome and see what goes down, okay? And while that's doing that, I'll have a quick, quick, quick drinkage. Yeah, yeah, you can do all that. Sort of. In the box, don't really matter. Mm. Only comes at half screen to start with. Not too good, really. But, hey. Get rid of that one. And that one, do that one. Okay, so we're going to put Sabby on him. So, Sabby boy on. Looks. There we go, we go straight to their site. Ooh, do you see what I mean? Because it's Gen 2 based, when you do get it installed, which can take some time, it, oh, I don't want to do that yet, I'll do that later. It does come up and work really, really, really fast, okay? I've had no complete system failures when using Savion over the years. There has been little problems and little bugs along the way, but normally it just works as it does. Now, as you can see, while we're here, everything works, it should all be in place, yeah. Fast and optimised for your hardware. 
well, I can vouch for that. Once it starts working and you've had it installed for like at least ooh, at least a week, it'll just be so fast. It's unbelievable. But remember, it's a rolling release. Rolling. So you don't have to reinstall every six months, nine months, two years, three years. It'll keep rolling. But on the other hand, sometimes I just... One of the machine I have got Sabion on and Arch. I just wipe it and just install the latest one and then go from a nice fresh install. Because sometimes that works actually quite well. Right, multiple repositories. You get the official repositories and you get community repositories. Okay, so you can get lots and lots of stuff in there. But if it makes your system go bang, that's your fault, okay? Extreme release cycle. Yeah, daily and monthly builds. They do do that. They do do that. I don't know, I don't know how they do it. They must be lottery winners or something, and they can afford to do it. And of course, as I said to you, the desktop environments. Or make it your own and just build it from scratch. Lovely. Now, I did try the Raspberry Pi version a while ago, and it just weren't for me at the time. So, you can download it here. So, if you go, click on Download. It decides to do it. Get desktop, server, or cloud. So, you can run it in a virtual machine or a container. Yeah, container. You know, we're all getting into containers now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course you do. That's enough of the web stuff, okay? Right, next. Let's go down. Accessories. This, this is what you get as standard on the ISO, okay? So you get all the usual that you would get in an XFC distro. But it looks nice and clear, doesn't it? Nice and clear and well polished. Okay. Mudbuduff, so that's a PDF reader. Strato for your viewing your images and shop for your photos. And internet, Google Chrome, Hex Chat for your chatting, pigeon transmission and VNC viewer. So if you've got your pies hooked up to your network, you can enter all your pies and do your pie stuff. Multimedia, okay. You only get Audacious, an audio mixer. And videos normally I install Clementine just to make sure it's installed okay right now when you're running the virtual machine installing will take longer simply because just the stare is basically in the day on a real machine it will be quicker but it's still longer than um, say doing a, a Debian based distro it will take a lot longer as you can see Clementine's up there in the corner there I'll click there and there he is oh hello Clementine that's my favorite music player that's what I use at the moment anyway under Office, full LibreOffice suite. I installed Abbey Word just to make sure it worked, and of course it does. Full screen, lovely. Go to help about Abbey Word. Yep, yeah. 3.01. That's the latest, and that's not changed for quite a while, has it? Actually, as far as I can remember. Okay. Anyway, if you go to the Sabion tab here, you can download the locations, Gen 2 documentation. You might need a lot, lot of sheets of paper if you want to print that. Okay. Get the repos, help forum, homepage, and packages. So click on the packages. Oh, no, I don't want to go away. We just wait for it to do what it's going to do. And you get a lot of the latest packages here if you want to install them. If you're a distro hopper and you like using stuff like this, you can play to your heart's content if you want to play with Gen 2. Okay, it's Gen 2 basically in the, end of the day. But yeah, that's the sort of thing you can do. Super duper. Nice. Oh. Anyway, and the system. Firewall Manager. You don't normally get that in an XFC distro, but it's here for you. G parted as you would do. Manage your printers. Rego is what you use for installing your applications. Sabian Greeter, I showed you that earlier. And Me Task Manager. So as you can see, it's only using no CPU. Yeah. But it's using 12% of my memory. Now bear in mind I've got 4 gig installed on this particular virtual machine. It's not particularly low, is it, when you think about it. So if you get a Gen 2 machine, you may want to think about what desktop you're going to install, okay? But I will say to you, on real hardware, this actually installs fantastically, and it doesn't use that amount, okay? Because once you start installing on real hardware, it uh, optimizes itself for your hardware. That is why it takes so much time, okay? Or more time than normal. If any of you have ever installed Gen 2 from scratch, now you young guys would remember, but back in the day it could take days to install Gen 2. And, and I really mean days, I'm not joking. It could be 48 hours, could be 50 hours, could be a week. It all depends on your hardware. But it will be optimised for your hardware at the end of the day. Yeah, I know. I know, I know, I know. So if that's the sort of system you want, it'd be fantastic. Yes, you can play anything you want to on Steam, it will run super duper duper. All the NVIDIA drivers are here. Hopefully the AMD ones are suit too. Because that'd be fantastic, wouldn't it? If they all work together. Oh no. 
but yeah it just uh, what's not doing for me is they chose this gray and white well it's not even white is it it's a gray background and i know you can change it but just if you're trying to a live uh, iso you want something to come out at you that's a bit different and that's the only thing i've got against it okay anything apart from that i like sabion it's super you just got to make sure it's got to go on a, a live machine a real machine not in virtual box it just won't work properly in virtual box i know and come on guys i've got a 5960x here extreme edition i'm using four cores and it's not as fast as it is in hardware on a dual core machine so what does that tell you real hardware only enough said i like it still though sneaky linux out i'll see you later bye, -bye.